Concerns are growing over North Korea's series of missile tests, and UN Security Council and ASEAN members have released a joint statement condemning the regime for threatening regional peace. In the meantime, top diplomats from South Korea, U.S., and Japan are going to meet next week for discussions on North Korea. Our Lee Gunwon has the details. More than half of the U.N. Security Council has condemned North Korea's recent launch of a medium-range ballistic missile. During a closed-door meeting on Friday, the eight council members released a joint statement describing Pyongyang's Sunday launch as a significant escalation that seeks to further destabilize the region. Among the members were the U.S., U.K., Japan and others, but China and Russia did not join. They added the ongoing silence by the 15-member body would only embolden the regime. The remarks are seen as a commentary on the lack of UNSC response to North Korea due to opposition from China and Russia. The members also called on the regime to reply to Washington's request to meet without any preconditions. This comes after the UNSC held an emergency meeting upon U.S. request last Sunday after the North fired an intermediate-range Hwasong-12 missile that's capable of reaching the U.S. territory of Guam. It's thought to be the North's biggest missile launch since 2017 and its seventh test to be conducted in January alone. On the same day, ASEAN also released a joint statement expressing deep concern over the North's recent series of launches, calling on the regime to comply with the UNSC resolution. Meanwhile, foreign ministers of South Korea, the U.S. and Japan will meet to discuss ways to bolster their cooperation against North Korea's increasing missile threats. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken will host his South Korean and Japanese counterparts, Chong Yu Yong and Hayashi Yoshimasa, in Hawaii on the 12th. There is increasing urgency to finding a breakthrough in the salt nuclear talks as the North hints at lifting its years long moratorium on nuclear and ICBM tests. Young Eun, Arirang News.